வணக்கம் வெல்கம் டு திஸ் வீடியோ ஆன் பை மெக்கானிக்ஸ் வி ஹவ் பின் லுக்கிங் அட் இன்ட்ரோடக்டரி மெக்கானிக்ஸ் ஸ்பெசிஃபிகலி இன்ட்ரோடக்ஷன் டு ஸ்டாட்டிக்ஸ் அண்ட் டைனாமிக்ஸ் வி கண்டினியூ அவர் டிஸ்கஷன் ஆன் ஸ்டாட்டிக்ஸ் அண்ட் டைனாமிக்ஸ் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ ஸோ இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வில் பி லுக்கிங் அட் அ கப்புள் ஆஃப் சிம்பிள் எக்ஸாம்பிள் ப்ராப்ளம்ஸ் இன் ஸ்டாட்டிக்ஸ் தட் ஷோ ஹவு டு ட்ரா அ ஃப்ரீ பாடி டைக்ராம் how to write out equations of equilibrium and how to solve for unknown reactions okay consider this problem the question is draw the free body diagram and calculate the unknown reaction forces and moments wherever applicable in the following problem so compute the unknowns whatever is not known compute that that is what is question so what is the situation let's try to understand the situation let's consider that x y axis in the negative y axis there is 5 newton force that is acting perpendicular to this beam or this bar there is a 10 newton force that is acting that is having a component in both the x direction as well as the y direction why is that because the bar itself because the bar is inclined at an angle of 30 degrees to the horizontal because of this reason or it is 60 degrees from the vertical because of this reason the 10 newton force that is applied on this bar will have two components one in the x axis and one along the y axis okay now it turns out that this bar can rotate about this point oh this bar can rotate about this point oh this is not given to you already it is not mentioned to you in the problem but from the way this diagram is drawn we presume that the bar can rotate about o or here i am telling you that this bar can rotate about this axis that means this bar will have how many degrees of freedom it will have only 2 degrees of freedom that is it cannot move in the x direction or in the y direction it cannot translate in the x direction or y direction so the corresponding so the corresponding reaction components will be there so let's try to draw the free body diagram of this so i'm going to erase this and draw the free body diagram on this figure okay so how will it look like so there will be an rx but actually when you are drawing you will have to remove this uh, from the from the contact is it not okay let us draw a free bar draw free bar okay there will be two components remember that will be the xy axis there will be a reaction component along the x axis which we are going to call as rx there will be a reaction component along the y axis which we are going to call as ry and these distances are given to be 0.5 meters and 0.5 meters is there any uh, moment that will be there no because this bar can rotate about o this bar can rotate about o there will be no reaction moment there will be no moment there will only be two forces so let's try to find out the unknown forces in the x direction a bit more complicated than the simple problem that we saw previously but it's not too complicated so let's try to write out sigma fx is 0 what does this mean we have said this previously this means that 
this object does not accelerate in the x direction. So, that means that the sum of all the forces in the x direction is 0. So, I am writing out sigma f x equal to 0 and I am including the corresponding components of this forces in x. So, that would be R x, R x is in positive x direction. Okay. Then, will the 5 Newton force have a component in x direction? The answer is no. Why? Because the 5 Newton force is in the negative y direction. So, this has no component in the x direction. Okay. Will the 10 Newton force have a component in the x direction? The answer is yes. Because this force I can resolve into two components one in the y direction and one in the ne x direction actually that will be a negative quantity in the x direction but not because the 10 Newton force is inclined like this because of that reason it will be like this because of this reason it will be along the negative x direction what will that be what will the y component be the y component will be the vertical component is it not that will be 10 times sin 60 the x component will be likewise 10 times cos 60 i am resolving these two force this force into two components and i am writing this i am resolving this force into two components and writing the values of the x and y components and I am including the x component in our discussion that will be minus 10 cos 60. Why is it minus? Because remember because the 10 Newton force is applied like this and not like this that is a difference. If it is applied and the, in this way the x component will be like this. Okay. The x component will be positive because it is inclined in this way as shown on the screen it will be along the negative x direction because of that reason it will be negative minus 10 cos 60. Is there any other uh, component along the x direction? The answer is no. There is only two more forces there are only two more forces one is r y the other is phi, but they both are in y direction. This is 0. From this I can say R x is 10 cos 60 that would be you know, 5 Newtons is it not because we know from high school trigonometry cos 60 is half 1 by 2. Now, I can write similarly the equation of static equilibrium in the y direction that is sigma f y equal to 0. What does this mean? This means because this object or this bar is not translating along the y direction the sum of all the forces in the y direction is 0 or rather because this object is not accelerating in the y direction the sum of all the forces is 0 because it can translate with constant velocity something to remember sigma f y equal to 0 upward is considered positive I can write out as r y because r y is in the positive y direction as shown minus 5 5 newtons is in the negative y direction. So, I am simply writing minus 5 that is it can we write equal to 0 the answer is no because there is 10 sin 60 in the positive y direction that would be plus plus 10 sin 60 is 0. So, that means I can write out r y is then 5 minus 10 sin 60. It looks like this is not a positive number we can use a scientific calculator and check and you will find that this is actually minus 3.66 Newton. 
what does it mean that a force is minus 3.66 Newton? It means that the sense of the force that I have assumed is not correct. I have assumed R y to be vertically going up. If the answer is showing that the value of R y is negative, that means the assumed direction of R y is wrong. The magnitude of that force is 3.66 Newton, but it is in the opposite direction. It is 3.66 Newtons in the negative y direction or it is minus 3.66 Newton in the positive y direction. So, from your computation, it is not necessary that a reaction force always is positive. Depending on the convention that you have taken, a given reaction force may or may not be positive. If it is negative, that means that the assumed direction for the force is not correct the actual direction is exactly the opposite with that magnitude of force something to remember. Also you do not have to solve for all the equations of static equilibrium because we know this is a planar problem it is a 2D problem we also know that there is this sigma m is equal to 0 right. So, you do not have to solve for sigma m is equal to 0 because the number of unknowns in this case is only Two. There are only two unknowns. Rx and Ry are the only two unknowns, and you can solve this by using two equations of equilibrium. You don't have to have three equations of equilibrium to solve two unknowns. You need at least as many equations as the number of unknowns. There are two unknowns, and you have two equations. Even if they are simultaneous, you can simultaneously solve them and fix them. In this case, they will not be simultaneous because x and y are always orthogonal and it will be simple. So, you do not always have to do the three equations of static equilibrium. Sometimes this may not be required. With this, we come to the end of this video in which we saw a simple example problem in statics. Thank you very much for your attention. Mm -hmm.